So Pronomen was written as part of my residence with the Auckland Philharmonia. And it was the outcome of a collaboration that I'd done with Little Bushman a few years earlier. And I'd asked Warren if he was interested in um, doing just a, like a standalone concerto for him and orchestra. And he was really into the idea. And what's interesting for me is that the more I learn, the more experience I have with these sorts of musicians, is I realise just how brave they are when they say yes to these things. Because you think, okay, great, Warren's a dude, you know, he can do all this stuff, he's a really talented guy, very confident. He still has to walk out there on his own and sit in front of the orchestra and do this thing. And that's bright. That's incredibly courageous to do that. So anyway, um, so Warren and I talked about a piece and we let it sit for a while just to think, well, what would it be about? What would the meaning of this be? Because we both we both have some crossover and we're being really interested in social things and and you know, like inequality and, and unfairness and injustice, you know, in our own ways we're we're you know, we, we focus on those things. Um, and so we let it sit and we were passing ideas around and we're talking about you know, books we were reading, things we were exploring. It might be a song cycle about the disenfranchised in, in our communities. And we were very interested in, and keen to make it a New Zealand thing, like focused for us on the world that we know, so that we didn't start talking about the universe and the world at large, but that we would just talk about what we knew. And so we, we basically um, started to narrow it down to categories. So. One of the songs in there called Grandma's Tears is about how we farm off our old people to homes and often they become neglected in these places by their families. And that's tragic. It's a terrible thing. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want it to happen to anybody that I know. You know. Um, another was to do with people who end up in prison you know, and the journey that might lead them there. And we're very dismissive of people that are in prisons a lot of the time. There's very little understanding of, of how they got there. Uh, and you know the various kinds of areas of the, the community that we are all a part of that we don't really talk about, we're not really um, engaged in. And it end, so it's ended up being this cluster of songs that have become a kind of epic concerto song cycle type thing. And that, that was really the journey leading to that. Uh, the collaboration was a really, um, really quite easy process in that uh, I would say that the core material, the bulk of it, came from Warren. And after we talked it through, he would write a song, usually at a guitar, and one of them he was at a bass, and record himself. And he would send these to me and then we'd talk about it. And we would get to a point where those demos were the, the structure they were going to be. And then I would import those into my software logic, which is what I use. And then I would start orchestrating around those things. And then if there was the need to change things in the original demos, then we would discuss that and changes would happen. Uh, and in some places, for instance, in a um, movement called Nemesis, uh, I expanded this small section out to be something really massive and epic with the orchestra. Uh, but in general, we stuck to Warren's things. And one of the movements, which was called uh, Shadows, uh, that really was more collaborative and that we went back and forth quite a lot with ideas. Yeah, but the process was essentially Warren would come up with the nucleus of each piece and then I would orchestrate around it. The version that we're doing with the Wellington Orchestra is quite different from the original orchestral version in that I've changed a lot of the orchestration. I've basically fixed things. It's a great opportunity to you know, rework and make things sit better on the instruments, you know, work out some vertical things that are going to sound better and, and manage the energy in a different way so that you're going to get the sonic impact that you want from the orchestra. It's actually a real luxury to be able to revise your orchestration because you often don't get to. Uh, but the other thing is we've added a new piece, so it's a longer piece now. There's another movement in there, which is about uh, growing up in, in poverty, really. But uh, talking about that in the, in the context of you might be materially very poor, but emotionally you might have a very rich environment. And that it's not just about you know, the things that you own in the house or the quality of your car or things like that, but that it's possible to live a very uh, rich and fruitful childhood in what we would call an impoverished situation. You know, so Warren in the lyric writing has tried to embrace quite a few of those concepts in basically two or three verses. You know, it's quite amazing. But that's a very beautiful and very, very sad um, song. Written. I want people to be moved. You know, I want people to understand what the words are, to understand what the words mean, to feel the emotion that's, that those words are embedded in, which is the music. Um, 
there's a huge advantage in this piece, which is that Warren has a kind of a gift, a very rare gift, I think, which is that whatever he sings, and you know, whatever he puts into words when he sings, you feel them as truth. It's an amazing thing. It's not just some guy singing a song. You don't just go and marvel at his musical ability or you know the, the, the lovely line that he's singing. You hear the words and you think, that's like five words and it means so much. It's so much power in what he's doing. And that's who Warren is. That's why. And so what I want is for there to be an environment in which this piece is performed, in which if you're in the audience, you can just be saturated in this experience. And if that happens, then that's, that for me is a successful outcome.